spending time on the gallery and start uh, challenging installation and it takes a lot of time. You know, it's not just uh, an exhibition where you take a nail and you put a painting on the wall. It's, uh, you know, it's very elaborate and it's uh, a year of work and then four months of construction and three weeks of installation. So I spent most of my time uh, in the beautiful museum. So I want to know what it was like to collaborate together and how did you determine which ideas, which of Jean-Paul's amazing creations ended up in the show? What was the editing process like? Well, at, at first it was uh, to convince him, but uh, because I think Jean-Paul was uh, a bit apprehensive to have an exhibition done on his work, a retrospective that would maybe look like a funeral, as you say. And no, it's true, you know, he's a living artist and he has a lot to say, and I'm sure in 20 years he'll still be uh, designing. So it was important to do an exhibition that would reflect his universe and also reflect the strong social message in his work. Because Mr. Gauthier has been, uh, for more than 35 years, uh, creating, doing all these fantastic clothes, and it's important to show something that is not a chronology, because he has uh, strong themes, uh, strong passions and obsessions, and it was important to articulate this exhibition in terms of uh, passions and obsessions, because they're very strong in his work, so maybe he can maybe yeah, explain Well, the tagline of the exhibition is from sidewalk to catwalk, so clearly you draw a lot of inspiration from the streets. Definitely, yes, you know, uh, that's why, why at the beginning, truly, honestly, I didn't want to make the exhibition, because I see if it was, uh, come on, uh, it's the time when you do an exhibition that you are dead, you know. So I didn't feel yet dead. So uh, after when I met the team of uh, Montreal, you know, uh, with Natalie and Thierry, I say, oh, there is a lot of uh, energy with them, you know. So maybe we can do something which will be alive, you know. So the idea is to have something alive. So uh, if it shows that on, in some ways it's quite uh, incredible that I have in Brooklyn, uh, Brooklyn because Brooklyn is quite like a, a little me, I am a suburban boy. You know, even if Brooklyn is not suburb, but it is a little like a, there is a street, a street aspect of it that I love. And I think it's well now it's very high, super high. So in some ways there is some relation uh, with me. So I'm very happy to be here in Brooklyn for uh, that exhibition. But it's true that uh, uh, street have been one big part of my inspiration. So I wanted it to be alive. Not dead at all, and it's why, 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 uh, you know, I saw every uh, year after, you know, uh, my couture collection, I go to uh, Avignon. And in Avignon, there is it's a festival of theater. And uh, there is a lot of plays, there is 1,000 plays, can you imagine it? Of, so it's a lot, you cannot do that it's in three weeks, you know. I stay only five days, I try to see the, the most. And I saw one play, which was absolutely fabulous, which was called The Blind. People. And it was like quite very strange. It was like uh, speaking about blind people perception, what you trom trompe play, what you think it is, but the reality is different, you know. And at the end, I realized that the monks that were there, you know, which were looking like clones, you know, in reality they were not real, you know, but they were like projection. So I thought, my God, it's beautiful that I will have to do something with it, you know. And yeah. the director, 